Your Royal Highness Meghan Markle, congratulations to you both. Thank you. Can we start with the proposal and the actual moment of your engagement? When did it happen? How did it happen? Uh, it happened uh, a few weeks ago, mm. um, earlier this month, here at, at our cottage. Um, just a standard, typical it's night for us. It's a cosy night. It was, what were we doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having... Roasting chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. And it was just, a, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> of course. Was it an instant yes from you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish proposing. I was yeah. like, can I say yes now? She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I say yes now? And then, then there was hugs and I had the ring in my finger. And I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? And she goes, oh yes, the ring. <laughs> so no, it was, um, it was a really nice moment. It was just the two of us. And um, I think I managed to catch, catch her by surprise as well. So. Yeah. And this is how long after you first met? Oh, it would be a year and a half to yeah. a little bit more than that. No, just about, about, just about a year and a that. half, yeah. Which for most people would be quite a whirlwind. Is that how it's felt to you? I don't think that I would call it a whirlwind uh, in terms of our relationship. Obviously there have been layers attached to how public it has become. Um, after we had a good five, six months almost mm. with just privacy, which was amazing. Um, but no, I think we were able to really have so much time just to connect and we never went longer than two weeks without seeing each other even though we were obviously doing a long distance relationship so it's um we made it work how did you first meet uh mm. yes we first met we were introduced actually by a mutual friend who um we will we should protect our privacy protect and not our privacy, reveal yeah. too much of that and um but it was it was literally it was through her and then we met once and then twice back to back two dates in london Mm. Um, last July, yes, beginning of July, and then it was I think about three, maybe four weeks later, that I managed to <laughs> persuade her to come and join me in Botswana, and we and we, we we camped out with each other under the stars. We spent come and join me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. So then we were really by ourselves, mm -hmm. um, which I th which was crucial to me to make sure that we had a, a chance to to get to know each other. Yeah. But the friend who introduced you, was she trying to set you up? Yes, it was definitely yes. a setup. <laughs> it, was a it was a blind date. It was a blind date, and, for sure. And it's so interesting because we talk about it now, and even then, I, you know, because I'm from the States, you don't grow up with the same understanding of, of the royal family. And mm. so while I now understand very clearly there's a, a global interest there, I didn't know much about him. And so the only thing that I had asked her when she said she wanted to set us up was, I had one question. I said, well, is he nice? Because if he wasn't kind, it just didn't, it didn't seem like it would make sense. And so we went and um, had a, met for a drink. And then I think very quickly into that, we said, well, what are we doing tomorrow? We should, yeah. we should meet again. What are we doing tomorrow? Let's meet again. And then it was like, right, diaries. We need to get the diaries out and find out how we're going to make this work. Because I was off to Africa for a month. Mm. Um, she was working. And we just said, right, where's, where's the gap? And the gap happened to be in the perfect place. Um, so. So how much did you, Prince Harry, know about Meghan? Had you seen her on TV? No, I'd, I'd never <laughs> never even heard about her until this friend said, Meghan Markle, I was like, right, okay, give me, give me a bit of background, <laughs> what's, like what's going on here? So no, I'd never, I'd, I'd never watched Suits, I'd, I'd never heard of Meghan before, mm -hmm. and I was beautifully surprised when I, when I walked into that room and saw her, and there she was sitting there, I was like, Okay, well, I'm going to really have to up, up my game. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and have a, and make sure I've got a good chat. I think for both of us, though, it was, it was really refreshing because given that I didn't know a lot about him, everything that I've learned about him, I learned through him, as opposed to having yeah. grown up around different news stories or tabloids or whatever else. Anything I learned about him and his family was what he would share with me and vice versa. So mm. for both of us, it was just a really authentic and organic way to get to know each other. And was that quite refreshing for you in the way that you've been brought up, you know, with a lot of people knowing a lot about you? Was it refreshing? Or thinking they know. Or thinking they exactly. know. Yeah, no, it was hugely refreshing to be able to get to, to know someone who isn't necessarily within your circle, doesn't know much about me, I don't know about much about her. So to be able to start almost afresh, right from the beginning and getting to know each other step by step, um, and then taking that huge leap of only two dates, and then <laughs> and then going basically effectively on a holiday together in the middle of nowhere, and you know showing a showing a tent together and all that kind of stuff. It was 
No, it was, it was fantastic. It was absolutely amazing to get to know her mm -hmm. um, as, as quickly as I did. And starting a long distance relationship, you were working on suits, you had, I imagine, a packed filming schedule. You've mm -hmm. got lots of commitments of your own. How hard was it to keep things going? <sighs> it was, yeah. It was just a choice, right? I think that very early on when we realized we were going to commit to each other, that we knew we had to invest the time and the energy mm -hmm. and whatever it took to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And um, so yes, with the filming schedule, it was mm -hmm. not the easiest because it of course included a lot of travel back and forth, but. Mm -hmm. I don't think you've had any idea what time zone you've been on for the last year and a half. No. <laughs> no. Coming over here four days or a week and then going back and then straight into filming the next day, 4 a.m. wake up calls on a Monday, yes. straight into set, you know. And right off the plane and straight to set and yeah. just coming back. I'm just, back trying, and to, just trying to stay as close as possible, but, you know, in, on, on two different time zones and five hours apart does have its challenges. But, mm. um, but we, you know, we made it work and, 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 and now we're here, so we're thrilled. But in, in the case of your relationship, unlike for most people, there's this whole layer of what it means to get involved with someone from the royal family. Mm -hmm. How much of a sense did you have? Megan, of the enormity of what you were getting into, what it might mean for your life. I think I can very safely say, as naive as it sounds now, mm. having gone through this learning curve in the past year and a half, I did not have any understanding of just what it would be like. I don't think either of us did that. We both said that, even though we yeah, knew I, that it would be. Yeah, I tried to. I tried. I tried to warn. I tried to warn you as much as possible. Mm. But I think both of us were in, totally surprised by the the reaction after the first five, six months of when we had to ourselves of what actually happened from then. So I think you can, you can have as many conversations as you want and try and prepare as much as possible, but we were, we were totally un unprepared for, for what happened after that. The scrutiny. Well, all sorts. <laughs> well, I mean, I think also because there's a misconception that because I have worked in the entertainment industry that this would be something I would be familiar with. But even though I'd been on my show for, I guess, six years at that point, and working before that, I've never been part of tabloid culture. I've never been in pop culture to that degree and, and lived relatively quiet life, even though I focus so much on my job. And um, so that was a really stark mm. difference out of the gate. But, um, and I think we were just hit so hard at the beginning with a lot of mistruths that I made the choice to not read anything, positive or negative. It just didn't make sense. And instead we focused all of our energies just on nurturing our relationship on us, yeah. on us. Yeah. and some of that scrutiny uh, and you ended up making a very public statement about it some of that scrutiny was centered around your ethnicity mm. Megan when you realized that what did you think of course it's disheartening you know it's it's um, it's a shame that that is the climate in this world to focus that much on that or that that would be discriminatory in that sense but I think you know, at the end of the day, I'm really just proud of who I am and where I come from, and we have never put any focus on that. We've just mm. focused on who we are as a couple. And so when you take all those extra layers away and all of that noise, um, I think it makes it really easy to just enjoy being together and yeah. tune all the rest of that out. But now that it is all official, Prince Harry, do you have that sense that the combination of the two of you, your different backgrounds, that you together represent something new for the royal family? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's something new. I think it's, um, you know, it's a, for me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And, you know, for all of us, what we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out mm -hmm. our work and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view. So you know the fact that I the fact that I fell in love with Megan so incredibly quickly was a was a sort of confirmation to me that that everything every, all the stars were aligned everything was just perfect it was this beautiful woman just sort of literally tripped and fell into my life I <laughs> fell into her life and the fact that she I I know the fact that she'll be really unbelievably good at the job part of it as well. Um, is obviously a huge, huge relief to me because she'll be able to deal with, with everything else that comes with it. But um, mm -hmm. no, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a fantastic team, we know we are, and, and we'll, we, we hope to, you know, over time, try and have as much impact for all the things that we care about as, as much as possible. I am very excited about that, yeah. And Megan, given your, your acting and the profile you had, you'd already been involved in various causes, you've been an ambassador for UN Women. Mm. 
What about this new role? I mean, you're going to have an, a bigger platform, a bigger voice. What do you want to do with it? I mean, how... Sing. <laughs> can you imagine? No, I'm not a singer. Um, I think what's been really exciting as we talk about the transition of this out of my career but into the role is that, as you said, the causes that have been very important to me I can focus even more energy on because very early out of the gate, I think, you realize once you have access or a voice that people are willing to listen to with, that comes a lot of responsibility, mm. which I take seriously. And at the same time, I think in these beginning few months and now being boots on the ground in the UK, I'm excited to just really get to know more about the different communities here, smaller organizations who are working on the same causes that I've always been passionate about under this umbrella. And um, and also being able to go around to the Commonwealth, I think it's just mm. just the beginning of a. There's a lot to do. Really? There's a lot to do. <laughs> and it's an immense change. You're you're getting a new country out of it. Mm -hmm. um, a, a husband, obviously, but also Oof. giving up giving giving up <laughs> your nice, career. Yes, it's nice. Yes, nice. but I I don't see it as giving anything up. I just see it as. A change. It's a, new, it's a new challenge. It's a new. It's a new chapter, yeah. right? And and also keep in mind, I I've been working on my show for seven years, um, so we are very very fortunate to be able to have that sort of longevity on a series. And for me, once we hit the hundred episode marker, I thought, you know what, I have I have ticked this box, and I feel really proud of the work I've done there. And now it's time to, as you said, work work as a team yeah. with. The, with mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. yeah. But do you have that sense of responsibility, Prince Harry, for what, you've, for what you're asking Meghan to do? Of course. Um, that sense of responsibility was, was essentially from day one, or mm -hmm. maybe a couple of months in when I suddenly realised, actually, this is, you know, I've, I've, I feel, I know that I'm in love with this girl, and I hope that she's in love with me, but we still had to sit down on the sofa, and I still, you know, I still had to have some pretty, you know, frank conversations with her to say that, you know, that what you're letting yourself in for is, mm. it is, it's, it's a big, it's a big deal. And it's, um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't, it's not, it's not easy for anybody. Um, but I know that, you know, at the end of the day, she, she chooses me and I choose her. Um, and therefore, you know, whatever, whatever we have to tackle together or individually will always be us together as a team. So I think, I think she's capable of... It's so of, nicely said, isn't it? I don't know. But she's, capable of, she's capable of anything. Um, and together, as I said, there's, there's a hell of a lot of stuff and work that needs doing. Um, at the moment, for us, it's going to be making sure that our relationship is always put first. But um, no, look, both of us have passions for, 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 for wanting to make change, change for good. And, the, you know, with lots of young people running around the Commonwealth, that's where we're going to spend most of our time, hopefully. And it was really one of the first things we connected on. It was one of the yeah. first things we started talking about when we met, was just the different things that we wanted to do in the world and how passionate we were about seeing change. I think that was, um, mm. that's what got date two <laughs> in the books, probably. Yeah, that's true. Plenty to talk about. Mm. Children? Not, Plans? not currently, no. <laughs> um, no, of course, you know. I, I think um, you know one one, th one step at a time, and hopefully we'll we'll start a family in the near future. Have you you met each other's families? I imagine. Yes, his family has been so welcoming, and and you've met quite a few of them actually. I have on both sides of his family, his mom's yeah. side as well, which has been really important to me too. But um, yes, the family has been great, and over the past year and a half. We've just had a really nice time getting to know them and progressively helping me feel a part of, of not just the mm. institution, but also part of the family, which has been really, um, really special. Trying to track them down and make sure that they're around at the same time that she's popping in without telling too many people. And uh, <laughs> so we've, we've managed, we've actually done incredibly well um, to make sure that you've met all the, all the key people. So does that mean a lot of the time that you've been together in this last year and a half, you've been, you've been at home a lot? Yes, yes. no, we've, we've, uh, well, yeah, we had to re sort of reverse the whole process and cosy nights in in front of the television, cooking dinner with uh, you know, just the two of us by ourselves in our mm. little cottage, um, rather than going out for dinner and being seen in public. So we we have we reversed the whole process, which is it's 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 provided different opportunities mm. and it's made us a hell of a lot closer in a shorter space of time. That's I can, true. That's you know without question. So. You know, if anybody else at home is <laughs> listening, then maybe you know, slow down on the dates and maybe spend more time at home. But um, no, it's it's for us. It's it's an opportunity to to really get to know each other without other people, you know, looking mm -hmm. or trying to take photos on their phones and all that kind of stuff. You know, with that, 
that comes that comes comes with the comes with the job comes with the role but um well, where so possible yeah. yeah and we were able to really get to know each other that way yeah. but also then to go and have friends over for dinner or to yeah. go to his family for tea or yeah. any of those sort of things and even you know just to take the take the time to be able to go on long country walks and yeah. um, and oh, just talk. All, yeah, we've been all over the place. Have you met the Queen? I have, yes. A couple of times. Yes, what was that like? a couple of times. Um, it's incredible. I think, you know, A, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother, all of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her I had such a deep understanding and of course incredible respect for being able to have that time with her and and we've had a really she's she's an incredible woman and the, and the corgis took to you straight away <laughs> That's true. for the last 33 years being barked at this one walks in absolutely nothing. just laying just on my feet during tea it was tails, very sweet <laughs> That has to be a, a good sign. Speaking of dogs, have you brought yours to the UK? Uh, well, I have two dogs that I've had for quite a long time, both uh, my rescue pups, and one is now staying with very close friends, and my other little guy is, yes, he's in the UK. He's been here for a while. Okay, let's hope he adjusts well. I think he's doing just fine. What was it like introducing Megan to your father and your brother? Um, uh, what was it like? <laughs> it was exciting. I mean, I, you know, I've been seeing her for a, for a period of time when I literally didn't, didn't, didn't tell anybody at all. And then William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine. So, you know, they're being our neighbours, we managed to get, get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now. Um, and Catherine's been absolutely um, been wonderful. amazing, as is William as well, you know, fantastic support. And then my, my father as well, we had, you know, a couple of, no, more than that. We've had a handful of teas and meetings and and all sorts of gatherings over over his place as well. So, um, no, the family together have been absolutely um, you know solid support and mm -hmm. and my grandparents as well have been have been wonderful throughout this whole process and they've known for quite some time. So how they how they haven't told anybody <laughs> is, 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 is a, again a miracle in itself. But um, no, the, the whole family have come together and and have been a huge amount of support. They've been amazing. And mm. Megan, your parents, do you think, you know, well, very happy for you, obviously. Do yes. you think they have worried at all about the scale of what you're getting into? Well, I'm sure at the onset, uh, both my parents and my close friends were concerned because we mm. got very quickly swept up in a media storm that, as I, I shared, was not part of my life before that. But they also had never seen me so happy. And, um, and I think also once my friends, excuse me, were able to, to really meet Harry and my mom, who we've spent a lot of time with, mm -hmm. who's so much fun. Your mom's amazing. It was just, you know, it was just obvious that no matter what we were being put through, that it was just temporary and that we were going to be able to get through that. So everyone was really happy with me. He's talked to my dad a few times, hasn't been able to meet him just yet. Um, but it's all been, it's all been worth every effort. Yeah, yeah it's been great. Yeah. Um, your ring. Oh yeah. Tell us about your ring. Um, the ring is is obviously yellow gold because that's what, um, her favourite, and the main stone itself um, I sourced from Botswana, and the uh, the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewellery collection to make sure that she's with us on this on this crazy journey together mm. um, and it's beautiful and he designed yeah. it it's incredible um, yeah yeah and make sure it stays on that finger of course. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you Megan to have those stones on your finger that once belonged to Princess Diana I, I think everything about um, Harry's thoughtfulness is and the inclusion of that and obviously not being able to meet his mom, it's so important to me to to know that she's a part of this with us, and and I think in being able to meet his aunts and and also to be like Julia mm. and mm. just different people who are so important to his mom, I'm able to in some way know a part of her through them, and mm. of course through him, and it's um, it's incredibly special, and you know to be able to have this, which sort of links where you come from and Botswana, which is important to us, and. It's, uh, it's perfect. What do you think your mother would have thought of Megan or said about Megan? 
Oh, they'd still be thick as thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Without question, I think she would be over the moon, jumping up and down, you know, so excited for, for me. But then, as I said, it would have probably been best friends, best friends with Megan. So no, it's, I, you know, it's, it is days like, days like today when, when I really miss having her around and miss being able to share the, the happy news. But, you know, with, with the ring and with everything else that's going on, I'm sure she's, uh, she's with us. I'm sure she's with us, yeah, you know, jumping up and down somewhere else. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, thank you both very much. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You very much.